Prince Philip has apologized to the woman left injured in his road crash, sending her a signed letter saying he is deeply sorry. The Duke of Edinburgh's note was hand-delivered to Emma Fairweather three days after we revealed last Sunday how upset she was at not hearing from the royal since the accident near his Sandringham estate in Norfolk. Last night the mother of two said, when I opened it I saw the Sandringham house headed paper and went oh my god. It took me by complete surprise. The 97-year-old husband of the Queen said he was left shaken in the message after the collision on January 17 that saw M's Fairweather suffer a broken wrist. He said, I would like you to know how very sorry I am for my part in the accident at the Babingley Crossroads. I have been across that crossing any number of times and I know very well the amount of traffic that uses that main road. It was a bright sunny day and at about 3 in the afternoon, the sun was low over the Washington. In other words, the sun was shining low over the main road. In normal conditions I would have no difficulty in seeing traffic coming from the Dursingham direction. But I can only imagine that I failed to see the car coming, and I am very contrite about the consequences. The prince goes on to explain he was ushered away from the scene on advice from police but insisted he had established nobody was badly hurt before he returned to Sandringham House. However, in the typed 131-word letter, which bears an official stamp and is hand-signed from Philip, he mistakenly said she had broken her arm, instead of her wrist. The letter reads, I was somewhat shaken after the incident, but I was greatly relieved that none of you were seriously injured. As a crowd was beginning to gather, I was advised to return to Sandringham House by a local police officer. I have since learned that you suffered a broken arm. I am deeply sorry about this injury. I wish you a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience. Ems Fairweather, 46, said, I had no idea it was from Prince Philip but I'd hoped and expected to hear from him then I thought he probably wasn't going to get in touch. The envelope just had my name printed on it and an ink stamp on the back that I didn't recognize. I thought it was really nice that he signed off as Philip and not the formal title. I was pleasantly surprised because of the personalized nature of the letter, especially the handwritten signature. He asked how I was and said sorry that I was in pain. I was chuffed. The support worker, who has been signed off sick for two months, added, after the crash I had some horrendous bruising on my upper arm. It's still slow going and painful, I am relying on my son a lot for help. I've been told I may need longer off work if I still can't drive later on, and I may need physio. At the moment the doctors are happy that my wrist is settling well into the position it was manipulated into after the crash, and the swelling has gone down. The letter is believed to have been hand delivered by a member of royal staff as it had no stamp. Despite being a fan of the royal family, Ems Fairweather will not be displaying her letter at home, saying, it's not going in a frame, it will just go in a pile with all the rest of paperwork on this. But I thought it was a really nice touch.